Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental, thanks for joining me. Today I've got two very beautiful assistants, my sisters Tasha and Sophie. Hi, hello. I'm going to rate some very popular fragrances. Stay tuned to FM. So I've managed to grab some time with my sisters. We all live in different parts of the country, so we're not always together that often, are we? Not the odd occasion, often, no. Christmas times so and things. rare occurrence to get Sophie up north. Yeah, yeah, Sophie, Sophie's a southerner now. <laughs> Midlands, you could say. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we're all together, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to uh, get them involved. And they love doing fragmental videos, don't you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're always saying to me, Chris, when's the next video? When are we going to do the next one? I don't have to rope you into it at all, do I? Oh no. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of uh, perfume testing on a sunny afternoon. Sibling bribery. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so you might have guessed they've got things to do, places to be, so we're going to keep this relatively brief. They're going to test several fragrances and we're at my parents' house for the weekend, so I just grabbed a selection of popular frags from the community that I thought would be interesting to get their opinions on. So no rhyme or reason really to the ones I've chosen, just that they're very popular, they get a lot of love and I thought it'd be interesting to get the girls' opinions on them. So we're going to dive straight into it. They're going to rate each one out of 10, we're going to combine each of their scores and we'll end up with a winner by the end of the video, okay? So, first one we're going to spray is Leighton Exclusive. Oh, I thought you weren't going to tell us what they were. Not that we've got to guess. Well, I can, <clears throat> I can tell you the names of them, but I'm not necessarily going to tell you what's in them. Um, can I smell? Or do you yeah, yeah, smell yeah, you, you get smelling, that's fine. There you go. So this is from Ooh. the House Parfums de Mali. So it's quite clean. Yeah. And fresh. It's okay, it's not it's not offensive, but I wouldn't say it's my favourite scent. <laughs> it's not offensive. It's not it's not <laughs> offensive, but it's not my favourite scent. Okay, so it doesn't doesn't really it's a grab me. Oh, I, I like this one. Yeah. It's a um it's kind maybe. of Yeah, it's kind of powdery but kind yeah, of it's a bit powdery. reminds me maybe of like the seaside a bit, as in um Maybe a little bit like soapy and fresh. Yeah, okay. it kind of does it in right. It goes with the weather today. I think yeah. fresh, clear day is. It's, it's, it's a clean smell. It's not sickly. Yeah. It's not sweet. It's a, it's a very it's floral scent, and it's even got some coffee. A bit of oh. coffee. Oh really? Cold in there as well. Yeah. Uh, I don't think morning. it's strong coffee, but it, it, it is said to have a, a coffee accord. So let's get let's get ratings. What are they going to do? Kind of, you smell it, and then it, it's um, kind of got a sweeter after kick. Yeah. You know. Yeah, probably have some sweeter base notes in there. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So by the way, this isn't a scientific process and I know to get the proper sense of a fragrance it needs to be tested on skin and opening and dry down. We haven't got time really to get into that in the video. It's just a fun video because I had the opportunity to, to do it with the girls. Uh, but it, it gives you their first impression so it gives you some kind of idea. So later next... Which will be interesting because I think me and Tash like very different. Yeah, yeah in the previous videos smells. we've done, yeah. We've yeah. always never agreed. We've got different noses. <laughs> so yeah. God knows what the wind is going to be. <laughs> okay, so what would you give that first impressions rating out of 10? Oh, do you know what? First impressions out of 10, I'm going to say 7. 7? I like it, but yeah. I, uh, it's, you know, not a thing. 8. 8? Eight? Eight, yeah, it's quite a strong contender. Okay. Although I haven't smelled it. Oh, well, I know so. that's the thing, it's the first one, we don't yeah. know. Yeah, so we're going to come back it's and do a quick another sniff of all of them before okay. we make the final Should decision, okay? Pop that back down. Yeah, so pop those back down there. Okay. Next one is from the house of Nasamato, mm -hmm. and this one is Duro. Thank you. This is one I've been wearing today, actually. Oh, thanks. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> Potent, yeah. I thought I could smell something funny earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good though, yeah. <laughs> it smells a bit, kind of reminds me of Palmer Violets. Palmer Violets? You know, okay. Little yeah, the little sweets, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, it's a bit sickly for me, this one. It's a bit sickly yeah. for me. Yeah. I will say, th this one is very potent in the opening, very rich, mm, maybe very it potent. Needs to yeah. But it does, it does soften and settle as it dries down, I will, I will say that. But this is, you know, this is oh, first impression. It is, so. it is softening a bit already, actually. Yeah, I'm going to come back and smell them once more again at the end, so they'll have dried down somewhat by then. Okay. Mm. Exotic spices, bit of leather, yeah. Yeah. very spices, woody, yeah. that one. Yeah, spices, a bit woody. Yeah. So this, kind and by the way, this is the rating that you would like to smell it off, off, a, off a guy. 
by the way, not not wearing it yourself necessarily, or yeah. feel free to so mention smelling that, it off. So yeah. I actually, so far, prefer the first one to this yeah. one. So I would yeah. give this one a six, I think. Duro gets a six from Tash. Five from me. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's too strong and too sickly for me. Yeah, too sickly. Duro is a very strong, bold statement maker of a fragrance, mm. I think. I think, I, to me, no, it's pretty think, masculine. Um, it, is, it is quite masculine and a bit more of a wintry type. It reminds yeah. me a bit of... Because um, it's a bit... Like myrrh, you know, like the three wise men, a kind of a myrrh smell. Okay, maybe that's uh, some exotic like a, spices, yeah. Uh, like from the Middle East or something. Maybe it's a mm. Christmas scent. Ah. Maybe. Could be. And okay. it ma- the bottle design does match the smell. I love the well bottle there. designs of these Nassimatos. Yeah. They're, they're, all, they're all the same and they all have a different cap. Like there's yeah. one called Miranda, which is um, a boozy whiskey based mm-hmm. scent and it's got a cork. Oh, that's um, cool. Cap. Yeah, it's really cool. I've got it. I'll, you'll have to smell it sometime. Um, talking of boozy, CH Men Privé oh. is the next one. Thank you. I think we'll have a, I, I guess you'll have a different reaction to this one. But see how you go. Oh, I quite like CH this. CH Privé. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like this one, actually. See, I like this one as well. Mmm. Okay. This one's kind of... I don't know how to describe it though. It's still quite strong. It is strong. But it's not sickly like. No. Although it is still quite sweet, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's not. Yeah, like sweet, but never gets cloyingly sweet. It's just sharp. A, a nice it's not sweetness. sharp, is it particularly? It's, it's quite pleasant. It's like, do you remember we were talking about those ones that you just want to keep on smelling? Mm. Yeah, they've got like, like this addictive quality yeah, yeah, to yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. I find that a bit like that, and then. I yeah, I like this one. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, this one, this has got a bit of leather and uh, like a, quite... a boozy whiskey quality. I don't know if I, I think I can smell the leather. I can smell the leather and that's interesting because actually I don't normally like the leather. Leathery ones. smells, no I don't, but I do, I, yeah. I do like this. I, I have just know. mentioned you in a video, uh, the fragrance is here, but I'm not going to tell you which one it is, but I, in the video that's out tomorrow, um, I mentioned you in it. Oh really? Yeah, in reference to some Tom Ford's. But so, I, yeah, but I do like this. You one. like that one. What, what what kind of um, does it conjure up an image of the type of guy yeah, or the way a, a guy might dress wearing yeah, this? Yeah, I imagine someone it's quite a very, clean cut wearing a shirt and it's a very smart. it's very mass a very yeah. yeah clean cut dress smart what do you smart kind of, like yeah confident. very masculine and confident yeah masculine it's yeah. a masculine smell. A lot of people say this one is like um, a, a a confident guy yeah like leather powerful, jacket um, yeah yeah yeah. But so you think that's a pop? No, even like, it's like a CEO of a company. Yeah, that's what like I powerful, like a businessman, a like powerful, authority. Yeah, yeah. Could businessman, CEO. It's quite, CEO. It's has it, quite has a it, bold yeah. smell. So a man wearing CH Men Privé exudes this yeah. high level of confidence. And, yeah, yeah. yeah, intelligence and like power. Yeah. Interesting. More yeah. so than Duro. For me, yeah. Yeah, same. Okay, so out of ten, Tosh? Uh, nine, I think. Right. I do like that, yeah. Mm, eight and a half, I think. Am I allowed okay. to do a half? Of course, score? yeah, yeah. So, that equals 17.5. So, mm. so far, CH Men is in the lead. Okay, next one. Yeah. Creed. Oh, yeah, thanks. Creed. But you've no idea about Creed's, have you? You don't really know what this one no, is or what it's know, called. Yeah. Great Creed's quite unknown, isn't it? Oh, the different Creed's. Yep, oh. Creed is, is the house, <laughs> and they have different... I'm not um, sure I've ever smelled Creed before. Okay. Well, let me I know don't know if think. I've actually smelled it before, I just know of it. I don't know what you think of this one. I'm kind of just let it settle a bit. Yeah. I quite like it, not as much as the CH... CH Men, is it called? Yeah, CH Men Privé, yeah. I, I, see, I, like, I really like this one. Right. So, it's very different to the CH... Men like prevail, it's much yep. lighter and it's yeah, it's quite light and Definitely. more subtle. Yep. Um, and maybe this is the kind of thing you wear, you know, maybe more in the a, summer. Yeah, a quietly confident guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Quietly confident guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is actually very versatile because of the notes in it. It can be worn, I think, any time of year. It's one of those citrusy, fragrances. Is it? Definitely a citrus. Yeah. It's got mm-hmm. some bergamot in the top. It's got some yeah. pineapple. So yeah, a yeah. Bit of juicy pineapple. pineapple yeah. Definitely. Bit of black currant. Yeah, uh, a bit fruity. And the reason it, yeah. it's so versatile and you can wear it in colder months as well is the the woodiness in the base. So it's got like birch wood, which gives it an almost bit of a smoky. Um, yeah. Yeah. Very exotic. Oh. Mm, We're just getting a weird. Um, oh, haze. 
Yeah. I think it's a sword. Agreed. Sorry about that, we just had to cut. Uh, we had some lighting issues, there was a, a glare of sunlight coming in through the windows, the sun's moving around, so we've sorted that out and we're good to go. So, um, Creed, Aventus. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, fresh notes, woody so notes, so again. versatile yeah. scent. You're, you're liking that better than CH Men Privé. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Do out you of ten. Do so, yeah. um, Is this my... I don't know what definitely I did in the I'm going to give a it a nine. seven. Seven and a nine? Okay. Seven and a half. <laughs> Seen as a loud house. Found that half note <laughs> on the end. Okay, so um, that gives us another 17.5. Okay, oh. so that's, oh. that's drawing with CH Men Prevent. Oh, no, okay. you've done that wrong. Have I? What? Yeah, because there's 9.5. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, 16.5, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Chris okay. Chris's okay. strong point wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. All right. So and we split the bill last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, this is a fragrance channel, not a maths channel. So can we just stop um, making fun of my maths? <laughs> right. Okay. Oh wow, that's sweet. That is sweet. Is that Jean Paul Gaultier? It's Jean Paul Gaultier, but it isn't. I used to love this, but yeah, I no, did, not, but now it's I not feel the it's, one you're thinking. I, I feel like think. this smells a bit more like commercial. You're, you're thinking Green Bottle of, yeah. of La Mal. Yeah. Jean Paul Gaultier La Mal is probably the one that, that you're thinking. I about. think this smells yeah. almost kind of like watermelony. Not watermelony, but a bit free. Yeah. Very fruity, but I, I yeah, any particular fruit you, you can think of? Peaches, maybe. Cherry. No. It's got a pear note. Pear. Yeah. Pear. Yeah. Mm. To me, but this yeah, one it is, it is, is much sweet more fruity. commercial. You know, yeah. like um, I just feel it's not quite as sophisticated as the others no. that I've smelt so far. Okay. Is that I feel like the others. You can... No, no, I think you're bang on. Actually, yeah. The others, you can smell the sort of different. I don't know what you'd call it. Not depths, but you can smell the different, like. A bit of leather, a bit of citrus, a bit of yeah. more distinctive just, notes. Yeah, more yeah. distinctive notes. Whereas this is just kind of one, a little bit overpowering. Okay. Smell that's not particularly. Yeah. So the I others are a little more complex. Now you've said it. Mm. Uh, there is some sort of spice or something. Okay. Yeah. So, marks out of ten. Six. Okay. Mm. Yeah, six. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's not an offensive Six smell. plus six is... Yeah. <laughs> 18. <Hello. laughs> so 12 points for for Ultra Mal, so not a, not a big fan. Still one point ahead of Duro, though. Um, okay, so we're going to go on to Pure Ooh. Malt. Yeah, we're going to get that bottle. That's cool. Very cool. So this is um, Angel Men Pure Malt. Wow. I'm not quite sure what to make of that. <laughs> this one's quite complex. Yeah, it's quite yeah. complex. It's got a kick to it as well, hasn't it? Definitely, yeah, definitely has a kick. It's quite a loud fragrance in its opening, this one. Again, this one's quite... maybe like leathery and a bit woody. Yeah, there'll be definitely some woods a in there. Citrusy a bit, I think. Okay. No, I don't get that. Yeah. Do you like it? What What do you think of, of a scent of this on not a man? Not for me. No? Not for me. It's definitely why not, not my too, favourite. Why, why, why would you like not like smelling? Reminds me of someone that look, would be a bit like greasy and smarmy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, if it's any, sorry if it's your uh, go-to fragrance. <laughs> No, <laughs> well, I do, I do really like it, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not greasy this morning. Yeah. I don't know that one does. That's that it. If you want to be, if if you wanna be uh, thought of as greasy and smarmy, smell. then um, pure malt is the one, is the one, guys. No, I think that's a bit harsh. <laughs> okay. It's it's all right. Mm. Like I don't know. Uh, I don't so this think is I'm a, just a guy this is a boozy this. fragrance. So this is supposed to have a bit of a like a whiskey boozy note. Yeah. Maybe that's why I'm thinking that. I'm just thinking yeah. of a, a drunken guy being a bit It could leery. be. It could be <laughs> bringing that image to mind for you, yeah. Out of ten, Tash? Uh, I'm going to give it a six again. Six. I think a seven. Okay. Yeah. It's all right. But 13, I don't really have 
a great deal to say about it, you know. Mm. Okay, so doesn't it's not horrible, but it doesn't really excite you that much. I don't mm. particularly like the bottle either. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, I've grown to like these bottles, but yeah, I know what you mean. They have been said to look reminds a bit me, tacky. Yeah, it does yeah. look a bit tacky. It reminds yeah. me of something like a tacky kind of Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Star of fame. Okay. Next one. I'm not going to tell you the name of this because I don't want to sway any opinions. <laughs> can I have another... Spray. I don't know if I need another... Yeah, can I just have another spray, please? <laughs> I've smelt this one before. It's not... I don't think it's the You've very... You've not, but it's strong. interesting you say that. It smells very similar. I think this smells quite leathery. Go on, so what are you saying? It's Tom leathery, Ford. yeah, it is leathery. Very leathery. Okay. That's so leathery, in fact, I imagine a guy riding a horse wearing it. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> it's grown on me as I've kept smelling it, I think. What, right now? Or, yeah. Yeah, okay. But you think you smelled it before? Yeah, well... I can't remember the names of the ones that okay. we did in that Tom Ford. Okay, one. so in the Tom Ford video we did, you smelled Tuscan oh, leather, different Tom Ford which is raspberry there. and leather, and um, you didn't like that as much as some of the other yeah, yeah. Tom Fords. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but this is slightly different. This is a diff this is not Tuscan leather, but it's interesting. You said it reminded you of it. It is pretty much the same DNA as Tuscan leather. Yeah, yeah. So you've got fruity accord and the leather. It's. It's not a strong enough it smell might, for me. Really? See, it's not it strong really enough. Strong. No, I yeah. don't find it. I think, yeah, I maybe. I find it. Just, yeah, um, put, put it away and then just take a, de a deep breath in and out and clear your nose a little bit and then come back to it. Yeah, I've been smelling a few. We should have got some coffee beans, shouldn't we? So, it might be a hard question for yourself, but from what you can remember of Tuscan leather, how do you think that compares? I prefer this one. Okay. So, what I like about this one is you get the leather. Mm. and it's quite like strong and I don't necessarily always like that but then I feel like you get a sweeter fruitier note after yeah. which I then quite like so that's why I, I think I can't. it's grown on me as I've mm. you know, it's, 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 um, it's a softer leather than in Tuscan leather it's not quite as sharp or potent yeah leather. I can't really get past it's a bit, I definitely a little creamier. prefer it to, yeah. to Tuscan leather so okay yeah I think yeah yeah I'll, I'll say what I was going to say once you've finished. The more yeah. I smell it, the more it's <laughs> starting to smell like shoe polish to me. Shoe polish? Okay. <laughs> I just can't get past the leathery smell. Right. That is, in strong yeah. leather fragrances, mm. that, that can be an issue. And uh, so I'll say what I, I think about this. So um, Tuscan leather is a very sharp, potent, strong, leathery smell that people say often reminds me of reminds them of the interior of like a sports car. Yeah. Oh yeah, like maybe. Like the yeah. brand new leather seats yeah, in a sports that. car. No, but I think that, I think Tuscan leather was really like that. Yeah. And I don't like that smell, I find it really sickly. Whereas this is softer. Unless yeah. my nose is just like... No, no, I 100% agree. This is same or very similar DNA to Tuscan leather, but it is a softer, more mass appealing yeah. fragrance. Mm. I'd, yeah, I'd, that's definitely nicer. I yeah. much prefer to smell that. I don't think I smell Tuscan leather. That's, that's okay. Um, again, I don't find it offensive, but it's still not, not my favourite. I'll give that a seven. Okay, so seven for ombre leather from Tash and so. I think I actually quite like this one. So I think, Me too. I think um, an eight. Okay, Yeah. so 15. Um, I love Tuscan leather, and I love ombre leather. A lot of a lot of guys are a little bit disappointed because a lot of people who love Tuscan leather, it doesn't appeal to their wives or girlfriends or females. It doesn't get many compliments yeah. that type of thing. Okay. But ombre leather um, does more so yeah. uh, appeal to to females and, and yeah, other yeah. people around you. It's a bit more mass appealing. Mm -hmm. um, so that's interesting. Um, your response on that one. Right, so, another Tom Ford. Grey Vetiver. Yeah. So what do you think of this one? Yeah. This is the last one. We'll quickly no, go back through. This no. I quite like vetiver. this. Yeah. It's very clean. Kind of sharp. 
Although actually, maybe it's a bit softer after. Yeah, I mean they will they will soften from the initial spray just because there's some alcohol in there as well. This to me is more feminine. Ah. Okay. It is a unisex fragrance. Yeah. I would quite really happily, is. you know, wear that. Yeah. I'm not sure about it on a guy. Yeah. Mm, no, I'm not sure about this on a guy, but yeah, maybe a, maybe more feminine. Okay. Female. So it's mm. interesting you, you mentioned clean because vetiver, uh, a lot of the, there's different kinds of vetiver, but a lot of the time in fragrances, vetiver can give a fragrance this clean yeah. appeal. Clean, crisp, it reminds me of like fresh, fresh, freshly washed, like. Yeah. Um, so it's pressure. so yeah, clean and uh, citrusy. Yeah, a lot of people. Um, this is a lot of people's go-to like work scent or office scent because it's pleasant, but it's not overpowering. Yeah, yeah, yeah like an everyday scent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, this one, this one is well loved by a lot of people. A lot of people love grey vetiver. I'd still um, like as an everyday scent for a guy. I still think. The Aventus would be better. Okay. I like this, but this if is you're asking smell. me to rate it in, on in terms of a guy wearing it or in terms of me wearing it. Mm. So if I was going to wear it for me, I'd probably give it maybe an eight and a half or even a nine. Yeah. Um, but on a guy, probably a seven. Yeah, seven from Soph. What would you give it? Um, I think I'll give it an eight. Okay. Seven and a half. Seven and a half? Yeah. Okay, that's fair. All right. So, 14.5 for Grey Vetiver. Mm. Now, let's just pop those back and quickly before we make, before we announce the winner, we're just going to quickly revisit each one. Now you've had a chance to get accustomed yeah. to all of them. Yep. Both on Duro. Oh, that sounds different now, it's been sat for a while. Right. Oh, it's even muskier. Mm. It changed. So Tash, you gave Duro a six initially. Are you still yeah. sitting, sticking with that? Yeah, it's changed a bit, but not. It's very yeah. earthy and musky. Hold your horses. Let's make sure you're doing both at the same time. <laughs> I'll get confused. <laughs> Already been getting confused. What's Tash on now? <laughs> She's on CH member. Oh, right? so on Duro. I'm this on is, Duro. Yeah. Yeah, so you, so earthy. you gave it a five. Are you still sticking with five or? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. We're just really. Oh, you did score it low, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, so both on CH Men Prevail. Yeah, still like that. Yeah. So a nine from you, Tash, sticking with that. Yeah, I don't know 8. what I gave it before, yeah. Sticking with that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I like this, yeah. Okay, all right, uh -huh. let's move on. Back to Aventus. So Tash, uh, oh, so if you gave this one a nine, Tash, you gave this 7.5. Yeah, still a nine. Still a 7.5. All right. Still like that one a lot. Yeah. Ultramal. Mm. Both cheap gave this a cheerful. six. Yeah. yeah, not even cheerful. It's cheap. <laughs> yeah. Maybe even a I'll five. knock it down. Ultramal. Ultramal. Knock it down. Yeah. Oh, it's getting knocked down. It's the only one. Both Sorry, are both knocking that to yeah. a five. Yeah. So it gets a lowly ten. So Ultramal is going to be the loser of all of these. Well. Should have tried harder. <laughs> Pure malt. Mm, this got a little bit better, I think, actually. What did I give that? The six. Mm. I'll give it 6.5. All right, upping, upping pure malt. Okay. Pure malt lovers will be pleased. Mm, I think that's gonna, I'm actually gonna put that, actually, I gave it a seven, didn't I? Yeah. I think I'm gonna put it down to a 6.5. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it remains, just, a, it it remains, remains at a 13 then, yeah. It's yeah. just, I mean, it, it is better than, than this one. Yeah. Um, but again, like I think the others, even the Duro, uh, just Duro, yeah. Duro um, is just a bit more sophisticated. Despite I me mean, not really like really liking that smell that much, yeah. just more complex. But there's just to more it. to it. Yeah. Whereas these two, I just they're just a bit. Yeah. You bit, know. Smell a bit cheaper. Yeah. 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 Less complex. Yeah. yeah. Ombre leather. It's got reasonable marks first time round. Getting past that leather yet? Still seeing your horse rider guy. <laughs> I was. I was. <laughs> In the leather chaps. 
<laughs> what would with the, with the, with the ass part missing? Yeah, um, I was, but then then you mentioned sports car, and actually, yeah, maybe that was a more <laughs> fitting right. image. Okay, so you gave it a seven, yeah. stick in. Yeah, or, stick, stick. Yeah, I'll stick with a seven. Yeah, um, what did I give it an eight? Yeah, an eight yeah, no, I, I do. I, yeah, I like it. Okay, so that sticks at fifteen points and. Last, Last one. one, great vetiver, and then we're almost done. Like sweet lemon. Mm. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. What did I give that? 7.5? Yeah. Yeah, 7. Yeah, because Okay, so say marks, it stays at 14.5. So the, the winner with 17.5 out of 20 mm -hmm. is CH Men Privé. Yeah. yeah. So clear winner. Well done, CH Men Privé. I will say about that at this point that it opens very strongly and um, it doesn't have, uh, it lasts okay, but it doesn't last as long as, as some of the other ones, no, for example. But it, but it, it, it's fine and I think a fragrance that you really love uh, the notes of, then you can respray, you can reapply, mm. can't you? So I, I don't yeah, think it's a big issue. And it's not like... horrible performance, it's okay, but yeah. yeah. Was uh, that Tasha's overall favourite? Yeah, Aventus yeah. was mine. So I'm your sure your overall that. favourite was Aventus, yeah. but Aventus with both points combined comes second. So both got very, very good responses from the girls. Aventus is, um, a lot of people refer to it as the king because it's the fragrance that, when it was released, took the fragrance world by storm. People loved it. Yeah. People love its versatility. People get a lot of compliments. Yeah. It's got a nice kind of um, charm and masculinity to yeah. it. So uh, uh, yeah, Aventus yeah. number two. And then joint three, we've got Leighton Exclusive and ombre leather, which both got fairly positive yeah. responses. So if you're a leather chaps wearing horse rider guy, <laughs> and you're wearing <laughs> ombre leather, anyway, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Considering I'm the one who has a horse, and yeah. <laughs> I don't really kind of forget that. So there you go, uh, just a fun video, but I think interesting opinions Nonetheless, I think it's always good. I do a lot of my videos, just me giving my opinion, talking to the camera. Yeah, I get my wife's opinion as well sometimes, but she won't come on camera um, yet. Is she not? No, 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 she doesn't want to. No, she doesn't like coming on. Um, good job, you've so, got sisters too. I know. Okay. So, so I hope this has been a fun video, but this has been really useful for me to get some kind of genuine, honest female opinion. So I hope it's been useful for you guys as well. Um, we're going to bring this video to a close. So thanks, girls, for helping me out. Really appreciate it. Oops, no worries. Alright, and um, just let me know when you want to do another one. <laughs> yeah, for Christmas. Maybe we should do one, we'll interview you with our fragrances. Yeah, so that would be a think. good switch, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> um, so, I guys. I own one. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about the video. Did the girls do well? Do you agree with their, uh, with their noses? And uh, if you own these fragrances, let me know what you think about any of these. It'd be great to hear from you. So all that's left to say is thanks for watching this video. And until next time, keep tuning into FM and... Keep smelling good. The girls are going to help me rate some very popular designer fragrances. No. Oh, stay tuned to FM. Today I'm going to be giving you some females' opinions on a fragrance that's getting a lot of buzz at the moment, and that is Artisan Pure by John Vavatos. Stay tuned to FM! So John Vavatos Artisan Pure is a fragrance that's getting talked about quite a lot at the moment and I thought it might be useful to give you some opinions from, from some females. So I've got some gorgeous females here. These are my sisters. <laughs> we're all on a skiing holiday, we're in the French Alps at the moment, so we thought I thought I'd take advantage of, of having my sisters here, they've not been on my channel yet. So we have here Sophie. Hey. Corinne. <laughs> Hello. Or, or Cosa. <laughs> what do you prefer? Cosa. Cosa and Tasha. Bonjour. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, why not? We're in France. 
Um, <laughs> so what I've done, I've sprayed, uh, well I haven't actually sprayed these test strips, just before we were about to film, I dropped my sample bottle on the floor and it smashed. So I managed to get some drops out, so we've got, we've got enough on the test strip, so we've got some drops here. So, let's get the opinions of, of the girls, there's one for Tash, so, what, what you turn? <laughs> <laughs> just, on the end, just on the end there. So have a, have a good smell, have a little sniff, and then I'll come to each of you in turn. What are you thinking, first impressions, Tash? Clean and fresh. Good words. Yeah, I think like it's it. quite... Crispy, light and fresh. It's actually described in the um, promo blurb as, as crisp, oh. so yeah, good. Alpine, a bit foresty, woody. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right, it's oh, described, it's, it's described as woody. Look, it's actually... crisp, woody. <laughs> And I, I, I swear, none of them had seen this before we did it. <laughs> yeah? None of them had seen any of the note breakdown on this. So we've got crisp, we've got alpine, woody. Yeah? Yeah. Anything else? Did you get anything else? I really like it. It's, no, it's, it's light nice. and fresh and piney. Airy. Yeah? I mean, I'm, I'm actually pretty blown away like by your description. One more? What do you think? I um, think it is. What else are you getting? Um, any any fruits? Ooh, citrus. There you go. Bam. Citrus. Yeah. citrus. So you've, you've pretty much um, nailed, uh, I think, most of the notes on there. Um, you, you've got, I mean, great, yeah. So, Tash, what, what do you think of the scent overall? I like it. Yeah. yeah. I think someone walked past me wearing that. I was yeah, works on, a, works on a guy. Mm. Give him up, yeah. give him a second look. Like yeah. yeah, you like Glance it? Glance back. Looks good. Nice, yeah. Yeah, really, I'd wear it myself. Yeah? I really no, like I th it. No, I think, I, think, I think it's marketed as a masculine fragrance, but I mm. think it, it could definitely yeah. be. I think most fragrances and are unisex anyway. So. It's not too overpowering either. It's just, no, no, it's now quite it's light. It's down a bit. Yeah. It's a bit more subtle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I really like, I'm not a big fan of strong perfumes or fragrances yeah and I would definitely wear it I okay like it. Mm. so uh, it's been mentioned that this could be the new top men's fragrance uh, it only came out I think autumn last year 2017 so yeah it's been talked about as being the new the new big fragrance Dior Sauvage previously seemed to top a lot of lists as being like the designer crowd-pleasing fragrance mm. so do you do you think it's worth just off this these first smells do you think it's worth that that mantle of top fragrance for 2018 um, I mean does it does it knock your socks off does it blow you away I'm not sure it knocks my socks off I don't think I like it as much as the Sauvage no I really like it yeah I think it's the nicest Fragrance, fragrance I've smelled for a while. Okay. I like are, it. Are you familiar with Sauvage? So. No, I haven't smelled Sauvage okay. before. Okay, all right. So, pretty positive reactions there from the girls. <laughs> we're just gonna take this this review just to the next level. And uh, because we're all on this skiing holiday, we've all got our other halves with us as well. So one by one, we're gonna bring in the men and the girls are gonna smell on skin uh, the Artisan Pure on their respective men. So, um, can we have one of you lads in to sit next to Soph? Bring on the boys. Here come the boys. Okay. <laughs> so, that's it, all the way in. All the way in. Is he on okay? He's on camera. All right, so here we have Richard. This is Sophie's partner. Right. Okay. Uh, first, first of all, um, what do you think of the uh, Artisan Pure? What's your...? I thought it was quite um, clinical, almost a bit too strong. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that was my yeah, first opinion. Okay. We've been yeah. discussing it out the back. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so a bit, yeah, a bit uh, too brutal. We thought it smelled a bit like... the back of where? <laughs> <laughs> the back of the gully. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, so, so, so that, that, that clean crispness could be... Yeah. Uh, yeah. A bit over the top. 
Right. Yeah. For you. Okay. Compared to the Sauvage that we we've tried as well. Okay. Um, I preferred the more we'll, subtle notes of that. We'll get yeah, we'll get into the into the Sauvage. So just smell it on uh, Rich's skin and, and just see how get you think hand. that. Hmm. Does that differ? It's, it's it's more woody. Yeah. I mean, and definitely it, and more citrusy on the skin. Yeah, okay. So as the skin warms the fragrance up, it probably punches the citrus out a little bit more. And as it dries down, because you've been wearing it for, for maybe 20 minutes, yeah, something like that. Yeah, 20 minutes. Um, so the woods will in in the base notes will come out a little bit more. So um, so you think it's definitely a different smell on, on the skin. Yeah. It usually is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, out of 10, Rich, what would you give it? Six, I think six. Six More out of like ten. It. Right. Off again. All done. <laughs> okay, this is Jack. This oh. is Tasha's other arm. Right. Jack, what do you think of the artisan peel? Um, again, I think it's it's woody. It's it's fresh, but for me, um, I think it. I, I not one for me. I think it smells a bit. It's a bit embarrassing, but I think it smells a bit like a cleaning, something like a house cleaning product rather than, because it's that piney smell for me just yep. reminds me of that. So maybe yep. not one. That no, that's a common thing. A lot of people do uh, citrus based scents <laughs> that have a strong citrus, especially lemon. A lot of people do oh, compare do you them know to what those. Tasha? <laughs> 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 I'm sure Jack oh, cleans the house. Oh, yeah. um, so, uh, Tasha, do you want to smell that on, uh, on Jack's hand? Hmm. It does smell different on skin. Yeah. Um, definitely. definitely picks up the citrus more. Mhm. Mm and yeah, it's not quite as as crisp. I think the skin almost takes away that <laughs> that initial crispness, yeah. and it and it warm, yeah. it, it warms up, and yeah. the woodiness comes through a little bit. Yeah. And yeah, and it it becomes a little bit more rounded. Yeah. A bit more depth. Almost um, stronger as well. I think stronger smell. Modesty. Yeah. And uh, what do you think? Do you, do you like that? Does that work on Jack? Would you, if, if Jack walked into the room wearing that, would you, would it light your fire? I like it, but for me, it's not, um, I don't think it's a fragrance that would stick with me and bring me a sense of familiarity every time I smelt it. Okay. So you don't think it would work Which as a signature? Which other so. fragrances do? No, not for me. Right. Is that just because it's the first time you smelled it? If if it, if Jack wore it all the time, would you not start to associate yeah, that with the good times? Yeah, <laughs> I do like yeah. it. It's a nice fragrance. Yeah, but but, it, it's, but it's, new, it's not. To me, yeah. It's not blowing you. Away. No. Yeah. No, good, good, anyway. good, but not amazing. Good, yeah. Yeah. But not. Okay, that's fair. All right. You're done, Jack. Yeah. Good. Send the next one in. Hello, Matt. Hello. This is Corinne's other arm. Um, Mass, what do you think of Artisan Pure? Um, very strong to start off with, yeah. almost throat burningly strong. Okay. Um, it's settled down a bit now. Woody on, well, I can smell it's woody on me, but, and, and that fresh smelling citrusy smell that does come through as the boys have already said does yeah. evoke a bit of Zaflora <laughs> cleaning products yeah. here's yeah. a man that does know his cleaning products he does know his cleaning products and this is, a, this is a man who also does like his fragrances as well so yes. uh, what what's your number one fragrance what, what fragrance do you like um, well I don't have well if it came down to it all time favourites would be things like Aqua de Palma yeah. and the classic uh, Men's Cologne, Senza, yeah. yeah. Um, they brought out a new one last year, which I really like, the Mirror, I think it yeah. was, which yeah. is a really nice. The Black, black, black bottle. bottle, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, okay, Coz, Coza, do you want to okay. smell? Yeah, I'm just going to smell it on this again. Yeah, yeah, compare. And then I'll smell it on. Mm. Now for me, it smells much sweeter. Yeah. Okay. On the skin mm. than it does on the the uh, <coughs> tester, and so I prefer I prefer it on the skin. It's yeah. still not my favourite. Okay. If I was comparing it to Sauvage, 
Right. So yeah, so Sauvage has, has previously been um, uh, one of the best designer fragrances and has come at, at the top of a lot of lists. Um, so I think um, I think it is worth comparing it to Sauvage. So the boys have got Sauvage on the other hand. So whilst Mass is still here, we'll get Mass to uh, offer his hand up to Cosa again and um, <laughs> just smell smell the Sauvage and see see what you think. Yeah, see, I love that, and okay. well, I bought that for you anyway, haven't I? Yeah. So that is one of my favourites. So, so Sauvage, you love it, blows yeah. you away, amazing fragrance. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I can always tell when Mass is wearing that. Yeah. I, it's okay. One Great. of my favourites, definitely. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, do, you, do you both want to come back over quickly one at a time, and um, they, they can smell the sauvage? I forgot. I forgot to do that. So, um, exit stage exit right, stage. please. Right. Mass. Yes. Uh, Richard's just, Richard's just popping back Ciao. in. Uh, so if so, if you smell the sauvage, I'm Richard, and just so compare. It's left. Yeah. So that's the sauvage. Can I smell the other one? Okay. Sauvage is like a lovely fresh. Powdery mm, scent. Powdery, that's yeah. the word. Yeah. Uh, Quite apt as we're in the Alps. Yeah. With powder. powder. I feel like Sauvage is sweeter. Yeah. And I, I still prefer the other one. Ah, so Artisan. you prefer Artisan Pure? Yeah. Okay, great. Jack, do you want to come in and um, touch yeah, and that, smell? Yeah, I feel like that sticks in my nostrils a bit. You can just you can I touch and just smell it from, <laughs> from there. I feel like it, yeah, really likes. Mm, see, I prefer Sauvage. Sticks okay. in my nostrils. Mm. All right. Mm. Um, mm. All right. For the for, for the final, Jack, why don't you stay where you are? Everyone, get in just for the final. Stay where you are, Rich. We may as well. We'll we'll, we'll start wrapping this up. Um, Everyone in. Everyone okay. In. So we'll just go through the boys. Rich, uh, Artisan Pure or Sauvage? Which did you prefer? Uh, I think Sauvage. And out of ten, and you said you'd give Artisan Pure six. Uh, maybe an eight. For, for Sauvage. Sauvage. For Sauvage, yeah. yeah. Eight for Sauvage, six for Artisan Pure, you yeah. said, didn't you? Mass, um, which did you prefer out of those two? I do like them both. I just think it's the fragrance for different purposes, yeah. different occasions. I'd, yeah. wear the, I'd wear the Sauvage on a daily basis as yeah. an everyday fragrance for me. The other one I'd probably wear in the evening for okay. an occasion time. Dress it up a bit more. Yeah. yeah, dress up scent. Okay. Out of ten, what would you give Artisan Pure? Uh, seven tops. Okay, and um, what would you give Sauvage out of 10? Same. They're both very... 7, okay, but for different purposes. Yeah, different purposes. Jack, uh, what would you give Artisan Pure out of 10? Uh, probably not for me, so maybe a 5, 6 out of 10. Okay, 5, 6 out of 10. And um, what would you give Sauvage? Um, maybe a 7. Just trying to look if you're actually on camera there, Jack. Yeah, mm -hmm. just about. Um, Sauvage a 7? Maybe, yeah, 7. Okay, alright. Um, so... So you preferred Sauvage, it was a draw for Mass, and you preferred Sauvage as well. Preferred okay. Sauvage. Tash, um, what what would you give Artisan Pure out of 10? I didn't, I didn't dislike it, but it just wasn't a favourite for me. So I would give it six. six. Um, what would you give Sauvage? Sauvage, I think I'd give a nine out of 10. I really like Sauvage. Yeah. It's the kind of fragrance that I would recognise. Attractive. Yeah. 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 Okay. Definitely. Cosa, um, Artisan Pure out of 10. Artisan Pure, probably a 6, 7. And then the Sauvage, a 9, 10. Love it. 9, 10, okay. Love it. All right. It's almost a perfect fragrance then. Yeah. Uh, oh. So, um, so I prefer the Artisan Pure, okay. funnily enough. Mm -hmm. um, I'd probably give it an 8, 8, 9 out of 10. Um, and the Sauvage, a 7. Okay, all right. And Rich, you preferred Sauvage, but would you wear Artisan Pure knowing Soph prefers it? Yeah, absolutely, I would. Yeah, yeah. Please the woman. There you go, you got him. Nice. Got him, please the woman. Um, okay, so I think the general consensus is that Artisan Pure is a really nice fragrance. I know you preferred it to Sauvage, Soph, but I think generally from everybody else, everyone thought that Sauvage was, was better, a better fragrance and... and yeah. Uh, it was a draw for you, Matt, but Sauvage was, was the everyday fragrance. Uh, so, I, I mean, I think, uh, yeah, there's still some, there's a lot of love for Sauvage. Um, and nobody disliked Artisan Pure. I think it, it got a pretty positive response, but I wouldn't say it was so positive that um, Artisan Pure is going to be the new uh, 
king of all the of all the top 10 lists of designer fragrances. Personally, I think I still prefer Sauvage. I do really like Artisan Pure. My score for Artisan Pure, I'd give it an eight, a solid eight. Uh, I really like citrus-based scents. I like the depth uh, of the woods in there as well, but I do still prefer the scent DNA of Sauvage. So uh, overall, I think Sauvage is just the winner. Although Artisan Pure um, did get some positive response as well, but just not quite as positive as Sauvage. So from everyone here, I think overall Sauvage is still ahead. That's it, that's, that's it from the Alps, um, from everybody here. Shall we all give a wave and say bye to everybody? Ciao, ciao. Bye, see you later. Bye, bye everybody. Um, if you've got any comments about any of these fragrances, if you, if you prefer one over the other, please let me know. Leave some comments <laughs> down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. Where should we have the bell? In front of your face. Yeah, go and hold the bell up, Rich. Don't forget to hit the bell to enable notifications. And until next time, can you remember the phrase? Do we know what to say? Stay, Stay tuned, tuned to FM. FM. Uh, no, that's not right. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and, smelling good. Until next time, keep tuning into FM and keep, keep smelling, smelling good. good.